Ramanand Sagar's Ramayan kicked off in quite a controversial period. But aside from the fact that it was favored being first serial based on Ramayan, what led to its otherwise wide success? Many other who created Ramayan later words didn't got much recognition and admiration as much as 1987's Ramayan. What did they lack? <laughs> Ramanand Sagar's Sampurna Ramayan is primarily focused on Ramcharitamanas and Valmiki's Ramayan. Now, Ramcharitamanas is the retelling of the Ramayan by Abadi poet Tulsi Das in a more fancy or poetic manner. There are predominant differences in the structure and characters between the Ramayan by sage Valmiki and Ramcharitamanas by poet Tulsi Das. The basic difference being the depiction of Sri Ram as a mere human with exceptional virtues and excellent conduct or simply Maryada Purushottam in the Palmiki's Ramayana while as a supreme being in Tulsidas's version. I have given the link of two Ramayana by Palmiki as well as the original version of Tulsidas in the description below. Now what's the deal with people's appreciation towards Ramanan Sagar's Ramayana whether they watch it during its first run or during its rerun in a pandemic. What is it? The brilliant cast, the sheer storytelling without missing a single moment, or the music? No doubt, the other two things were vital as well. But the role of music in this TV show proved to be sensational. Why wouldn't it? We all know the prominence of music or toning in Hindu culture. Even simple to simple verses are recited in a poetic manner. From marriages to worship of idols, one can find specific pujas and musical kathas in almost every ritual. The classical music of India is a celestial and a spiritual path to express one's bhakti towards the Almighty, wrote Sri Ram Seva Mandali, which reminds us of the importance of Ram Charitmanas. Valmiki narrated the Ramayan by shloks. Verses in the Ramayan were written in a 32 syllable meter called Anushthub and was only possessed and told by temples until Tulsidas reconstructed it in a tributing manner. He retold the entire in what we call Dohas, something which people could recite simply by singing. Consequently, Ramacharitmanas became a household sacred book, leading to be told in many auspicious events, widening the recognition of Ramayan. The classical music of India is known to have origin from Samved. The origination of musical Bollywood films is not surprising or untraceable. I know it is too much out of the box information, I just mentioned it to signify the importance of music in our culture and how it impacted us. Ramayan is more closely associated with music than any other epic. Perhaps the creators knew it. And probably that's why approximately 40% of the whole show is composed of songs and bhajans. Many times the important conversations are sung in dohas and fascinatingly only Indian classical instruments are used. The music is so profound, specific and cultured that it is still used after 30 years of its release, something which later creators fail to realize or take hold of. Music is used like as it is normally used in Indian soap opera and also lacks major use of cultured and specific music or sometimes over-edited music lacking Indian classical instruments. Other specialities that make it stand out of others are well-informed and wholesome dialogues. The storytelling is neither over-decorated nor underestimated and its structure is as grounded yet powerful as the name Ram. <laughs>